Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dragon Cloud. I'm back with another unboxing video, as you can obviously see. It's been a very long time since I uploaded something, and I figured I'd give a little explanation, uh, because technically you deserve it. But basically, the last time I uploaded a video, I said I was gonna do the Zone of the Enders Metal Gear Solid, uh, like two books in one. Um, the problem was, I actually did that, and I did a couple of good, like, editing tricks and whatnot, but I happened to be using Sony Vegas, and if anyone who's ever used Sony Vegas knows that it's a bitch, and the file not only took forever to actually render, but once it did, uh, the file was so, like, ridiculously big that it would have taken forever to upload so I pretty much had to scrap that but now I'm going off on another long thing but I guess if anyone has any recommendations for a simple video editing program maybe doing some picture-in-picture -picture, an explosion here or there just because it's fun uh, I would greatly appreciate recommendations anyway now that that's out of the way if you've read the title, you obviously know what this is. So, as you can see, I got this from Amazon.com. And luckily enough, I actually got it before the uh, actual release date. So that's pretty awesome. So, this box is very heavy, but that's because I have two of them in here. But let's actually just get to the good stuff and open this bad boy up. Oh, okay. It's already ripped there. Very simple, but oh, isn't that awesome? I guess I should do the whole -na 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 -na. yeah, I do that all the time. And yes, there's two. Yeah. But as you can see, this is the Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. Let's read the back. Yeah, you have the glare of the light. The Legend of Zelda franchise has set the industry's standard for riveting gameplay and immersive storylines. With each game, players have discovered a story of destinies intertwined and heroes emerging from humble beginnings to overcome the most impossible of odds. Now, Dark Horse Books and Nintendo invite you to take an in-depth look at the creation of one of the most beloved game franchises of all time containing never-before-seen concept art, character designs, the official chronology of the games, and, the, oh, I just threw her and, but, the history of Hyrule and much more. The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia brings an unprecedented look into the making of the Legend of Zelda series. Now, in case you, well, I guess I should rephrase that. For those that don't know, this was actually never supposed to see stateside. This was made, I believe, in Japan only, but so many fans like clamored and demanded and I guess Nintendo and Dark Horse both heard they were like you know oh let's bring this stateside so we get to see it in English awesome so yeah as you can see it's uh, like completely sealed I'm gonna open this up and yeah this thing is massive there's a bunch of stuff and I can't wait to look into it just like I'm sure you guys can't wait as well. So let's check it out. Okay, and we're back. So I guess first we should uh, admire the book, and I should actually tell you that it's super heavy. This is probably, I think it's like, I don't know, this might be like maybe five pounds-ish, maybe more, maybe a little less. Um, as you can see, hardcover. A very nice, like, I guess you would call it, like, embossed gold film. Very shiny. Very awesome. Green, typical, like, uh, Lynx green. As you can see, the four, or, let me get that out of the way of the camera. The four corners have, like, a harp, uh, ocarina, and then just reverse. If I'm right, this is the same, um, the same, uh, like, I guess, decoration that was on the 3DS version 
of um, the Legend of Zelda, you know, 3D Link's, you know, 3DS version. I really, really can't get my words together today. Uh, it's really bad. I apologize. But yeah, as you can see in the back, or on the side, Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Historia, Dark Horse, and then all the jazz I read before. So let's just lay this down and open it up. Fix that focus. As you can see, this is, uh, I'm guessing that's probably one of the goddesses. It might even be Zelda, I don't know. Holding sword and other characters. This is obviously the Hyrulean shield and master sword. That actually looks like that might be the N64 one, the rendering, or, well, if you know what I mean, it just looks very familiar, other than the obvious reason why it would be familiar. But, um, here we have an actual original Japanese edition and English language edition, and I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, man, there's bad unboxing today. That's everything that could go wrong. It's going wrong, but whatever. I'm going to keep going. Uh, then we have translated by these people. And then all concepts, illustrations that originally contain handwritten notes in Japanese in Japanese have been translated into English and updated for this version of the book. Sorry if sometimes I go out of frame. I'm trying to like look at the book and also at the camera, like screen thing to make sure I'm still still in shot or in frame and here we have Shigeru Miyamoto senior executive editor of Nintendo Corporation and general producer producer of the Legend of Zelda series so I guess I should get a close up on this stuff so if you guys want to read it you can awesome him just posing there I actually would read this stuff to you, but not only is my voice very dry today, but uh, this is a lot of words, and I don't think like the video would be way too long, so that's why I'm just going to do a close-up so you guys can check it out yourselves, and you know, just pause and read and stuff. So the legend begins, the world of Skyward Sword, the history of Hyrule, creative footprints, and then, oh, what's that? Special comic, The Legend of Zelda, 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 what the hell did Zelda come from? Skyward Sword. The story reads from back to front, oh, so typical manga. The legend begins, the world of Skyward Sword. Here we have an introduction. I actually haven't played Skyward Sword myself because I don't have like a Wii or anything, but hopefully one day that'll change. Or actually, at this point, I might as well just get a Wii U. And here we have awesome concept art. Okay, the way it's looking, this is probably going to take a long time. So, how about we just start flipping through pages so you guys can check things out. And then maybe I'll make another video that has more in-depth stuff or reading material, I guess. But yeah, if you guys want, it's actually, what's today's date? Um, yeah, today is January 28th. This comes out January 29th. So you can actually pre-order it right now from Amazon. I actually got it today because I pre-ordered this like months ago. So long ago that in fact I actually forgot about it. And like I just remembered because I got the email saying that it was shipped out to me. So I was like oh awesome. But yeah it's um right now it's $20 if I'm right. Which is a steal. The original price tag, I believe, is like thirty-eight ninety-nine, 
So, yeah. Regardless whether you pay 20 or you watch this video later on and it's for the higher price, it's definitely worth it. I mean, these pages are super thick, super high quality. I mean, it's just amazing. If you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda, I highly recommend it. I mean, just looking through this, it's what, like six minutes now? And I'm like overjoyed. I'm ecstatic. Like, this is fucking awesome. I apologize for the cursing, but yes, I am happy. So we have the Residence of Skyloft. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to contain some spoilers. So I guess... Yeah, be on the lookout for that. Inside the Thunderhead. Oh, what's that? Looks pretty cool. Some whale thing. Yes, I said whale thing. So that's what it is. It's a thing that happens to be a whale with weird eyes coming out of it. I gotta tell you, these concept artists, I hope they make a lot of money because... Like, these illustrations are freaking great. It's so fun. I don't know, but... I don't know for other people, but for me, myself, like, I just love looking at the artwork. Earth Temple, Fire Sanctuary. Some weird troll thing. Wow, we're only on page like 52, or no, 56 now. I guess I should probably pick this up. I'm sorry if I go, I'm starting to like get quiet because I'm just like looking at this and like I'm just like, ah, uh, trying to like stare at everything. All right, so the first half contains the history, or I guess the legend begins, the world's Skyward Sword. That's awesome. If I'm right, I think this was actually a Nintendo uh, reward. I actually didn't get it because I figured this kind of sucks, but this is going on something else, another video. But, um, like, I guess last year's Nintendo rewards were, um, it was like you can either pick poster, the platinum rewards, I should say. You can either pick out, like, a bunch of posters, or you can get, uh, Mario, like, card set, which I have. But I figured, oh, I'll just, you know, get the posters later on because they always have, like, Zelda posters or whatever. And, of course, since then, there haven't been any posters, so I'm kind of upset about that. But that's another rant for another day. Oh, and now this is awesome. This is the whole Zelda timeline that everyone's been going crazy about. I guess I should fix this so that you guys can see it okay. I don't know if it's coming out blurry or not. Let's see. Creation of the Land of the Sky, Skyward Sword, Sacred Realm of Sealed, Diminished Cap, Four Swords Adventures, and then Ocarina of Time. And then we have the history if the heroes defeated. You start a link to the past. It's like, let's see if I could focus in there so that it. We have a link to the past. Oracle of Ages and Seasons, Link's Awakening, and then the original Legend of Zelda, and then the Adventure of Link. Then, if the hero wins, it splits up into two different timelines. Twilight Princess, Four Swords Adventures, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spare Tracks. Speaking of, uh, what is it, the Wind Waker? I don't know about you guys, but I never played the Wind Waker, so I guess I don't really have a real opinion on it. But I'm kind of upset that that one's being remade and not maybe one of the other ones, per se. So, yeah. I don't know, I just kind of think, uh, I, I wasn't a fan of, like, the the style of the Wind Waker. 
I actually preferred like the Twilight Princess that like hyper realistic. I thought it was great, but apparently I don't know. Maybe it was too dark for some people. But eh, it is what it is, I guess. From right, yeah, this is the Minish Cap. I'm actually playing this right now in my off time whenever I, because I have a 3DS. And I got the ambassador ticket or whatever, so they gave me this game for free. So I'm actually playing it, and it's pretty fun. Played in my off time when I'm like doing laundry or whatever. There we have Sheik, which was actually spoiled for me because people like spoiling things, which I didn't know because I didn't have an N64 at the time and my friends did and yeah let me not go into that I'm so upset about that but whatever then we have Ruto over here she got hot yeah she has gills whatever she got hot and Zelda too Now I think this is going back to the original Ness. Trial of the Triforce? Oh no. Well that's Oracle of Seasons or Ages because I recognize him with the staff thingy. Or I guess I should say I recognize that from like the box art. Oh it's a harp. There we go. Totally forgot. I was like oh whatever. That thingy. It's a harp. I forget things. Only human. Zelda 2. I actually got this game as a free download as well, but I haven't played it because, yeah, I just, eh, I don't know, I guess I haven't gotten around to it. And Manjur's Mask. I've actually been watching videos of other people. Um, it was like uh, the top 25 creepiest Zelda monsters or whatever. And I don't remember who the guy was, because it's very similar. There's a couple of YouTubers that do very similar videos, and I always get them confused. So I don't know if it's, like, Rabid Luigi or somebody else. But if you can find, like, the top 25, um, like, creepiest Zelda stories or Zelda monsters or something like that, it's actually really well done video, really awesome. And they talk all about, like, Manjora's Mask and, like, all the crazy, sh like, stuff behind it. And it's just it's it's awesome. You should check you guys should check it out. And here we have uh Wow, I'm going blank. Twilight Sword or no, um Crap, I can't believe I'm actually gonna have to look this up. I'm going totally blank. I can't believe that. Where Twilight Princess, there we go. Twilight Sword. But yeah, there we have uh Princess Zelda, Minda. Princess Zelda, best looking Zelda, I think. Right there, it looks freaking gorgeous with her elf ears. Ganondorf looking badass as usual. Yeah, this right here. This was one of the Nintendo, um, let me see, focus. This was one of the Nintendo uh, rewards posters. That was just like a regular poster. It wasn't even like a special edition or whatever. And it's freaking badass. And I totally planned on buying it. Or like ordering it with my Nintendo points. But by the time I actually got around to it. it's It's been gone. And it never came back. So somebody from Nintendo happens to watch this. Please put it back. Please. I must get that poster. Because I don't want to pay a ridiculous price on uh, eBay because guys like to overcharge anything and everything. But yeah, uh, wow, 15 minutes already, or more like 17 minutes because I was talking for a little bit in the beginning. It's going to be probably my longest video yet, but I uh, hope you guys don't mind. I mean, I actually don't like the sound of my own voice, 
<clears throat> it actually annoys me a little bit when I hear it. Oh, here we go. Here's the special edition 3DS I was telling you guys about. That's awesome. It's like, no matter what I talk about, there's either a picture or something going on here that I could just, like, show you guys reference of. That's awesome. It's like, you see, I'm not lying. I'm not an asshole. Oh, cool. Never before seen concept art. But yeah, like I was saying, hope you guys don't mind me talking. I mean, I guess if you do, just mute it. Listen to music or something. Otherwise, enjoy the lovely sounds of my voice as they soothe your soul. Yes, that was cheesy, I know. Whatever. Don't judge me. That's definitely Ocarina of Time, Ganondorf. So pretty. I have to draw a link now. I have to get out of my system. I have to draw something. Yeah, we still got a lot of pages. I'm wondering if I should just make this two parts or three parts or... So that's already a lot. Uh, you know what? In hindsight, I probably should have stopped when I started, when it started going towards the next, um... I guess the next, like, you know how it was like, uh, Skyward Sword and Ocarina of Time or whatever. Probably should have like stopped there, but whatever. I guess I'll just soldier on. I don't know, it's kind of confusing when to know like when to cut a video and when to start one again, at least for me, because I guess I'm a very beginner. So I don't know what's best. I, I know like when I'm watching a video, I'm just like Oh, three parts, now I have to click? Yes, I'm one of those guys. And I'll be like, eh, maybe I won't click. Maybe I will. Then if I, at the same time, if I see a video and it's like, oh, half hour? What? I don't want to watch this for a half hour. And then I end up doing it anyway, so. What the hell's up with that freaking beer belly? And even this guy looks like he's pregnant. Yeah, creepy. You can definitely see how the artwork, or at least the concept art, has definitely got more refined over the years. A lot more creative. But yeah, it still retains all its like classicalness, even though that's not a word. But, like, you can still see the influences of, like, all the original artwork. All its cheesy glory. You still see shades of it in there. It's pretty awesome. I'm actually losing myself in this. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be reading this, like after I upload this video because if I just start reading it now I'm never gonna upload the video and people are just gonna get like screwed over and it'll be another video that I filmed and haven't uploaded to YouTube which has happened I actually have a couple of videos like that uh, like my Vita unboxing well that was dumb because nobody cares about the Vita anymore it's here going on a tangent but I don't know about you guys, but I'm still very upset that they decided not to bring the USD or the USD, the UMD passport program to America. They tried to say that there wasn't enough of demand for it. Yeah, right. It's like I'm sorry, but I want to play Crisis Core on my Vita. Not even just Crisis Core. Like, I'm a fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh games, like the the card games. And there are times where, like, I'll just play that 
for like three days straight until I get out of my system. But here we go. We have uh, changes in character design. All the links throughout the years. Which is pretty cool. I have to say. I actually got into Zelda. I'm not going to lie. I got into Zelda in Ocarina of Time. So 1998. Which doesn't seem that long ago. But God, it's been forever since then. Yeah, I remember going to my friend Mark's house as a kid, and him and his brother had it, and they were playing it. I'm like, what's this? And they were like, oh, it's Zelda. you never seen Zelda? And I'm like, well, no. Yeah, back then, I don't know if it's still the case now, but we used to think that Link's name was Zelda, just because it was The Legend of Zelda. So we're like, oh, it's the main character. His name's Zelda. And then we see it, Link, and we're like, oh, well, that must be a mistake. So we would actually change his name to be Zelda. And then as you grow up, go on through the game, it's like, oh, Zelda, meet Zelda, and we're like, oh, okay, we're dumb. That doesn't make sense. All the games. And wrapping things up. Yeah, stop. And this is where the manga starts. Starts backwards. Oh, that has to be Ganon. That's awesome. Or if not Ganon, some Dark Lord thing. Ooh, special 32 page Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Very awesome. Zelda looks awesome. Link's looks pretty badass too. Oh, since this is a manga, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for actually showing this. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you guys what. This will conclude the Hyrule Historia. And what I will do is I'll upload the little manga separately. Because I know mangas tend to have a problem with being on YouTube. So, anyway... There you go, the Hyrule Historia, page by page. Super long, a lot of commentary. I hope I'm getting better at this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So, uh, I'm going to upload this, enjoy this very raw footage. Uh, if you guys like it, you know what to do. And um, also, back again to like the, vid the beginning of the video. If any of you guys know any like very simple, or not very simple, but I guess easy to use video editing software, let me guys, or let me know, you guys. That way I can keep doing this, and we can all have fun and read stuff together. Alright, well, this is Drain Cloud signing off. You guys have a good one. Take it easy.